Okay, so what we're gonna do is figure out how to make something like this happen um, uh, so that we can have our slideshows playing at the top of our Google site. Um, and ideally we're having them autoplay so the website user isn't having to click, click, click to the through all the slides because they just won't. We want it to autoplay. So one of the easiest things is to create a Google slide um, slideshow and to embed that. Now, I know a lot of you prefer to use PowerPoint so what happens when you use PowerPoint is that you actually have no way to get it onto your site unless you save the PowerPoint in your Google Drive first, at which point Google Drive automatically converts the PowerPoint into a Google Slideshow. And that will or could result in a loss of some of your formatting, especially fonts. Um, so you may want to just create a Google Slide. So I've created one here uh, just to show you how uh, to uh, to do this. And what you need to do after you've created your, your slideshow um, with all your content and your images, uh, yours obviously will look different from this blank template one. You need to integrate transitions and through animations in order to get it to auto play. So you want to go to um, slide and then click on transition. And then here you can choose what kind of transition you want. Uh, so if I want mine to just kind of scroll, then I'll choose slide from the right. If I want it to go, you can decide if you want it to go fast, medium or slow. And this is like the amount of time it will stay on one slide. So we probably want it to go relatively slow to give people time to see uh, the information. And then we want to apply it to all of the slides at the same time. So this is what it will look like. Okay, well, that's our preview. Uh, okay, so once you have created a slideshow, you can still keep editing it even if you integrate it on your Google slide. So, uh, Google slide. So, what you need to do is just make sure that it's saved, it auto saves. Um, make sure that you know where it's saved in your Google um, Drive account. And then scroll down to on your Google slide, scroll down to slides here. This will give us a list of our recent slideshows, you can see the ones, oh, this is my child's, okay. Uh, so here, this is the one that we want. And there we go, we have our slideshow here. So I'm just gonna um, drag it, to make it fill this space nicely, maybe like right like that. Okay, so in order to test those animations and see how it moves, we're going to go and um, update our site and we want to view the published site and see if our slideshow will autoplay. Okay, so it doesn't autoplay off the bat, but if I hit play, then it starts to move without me doing anything. There, and it will move through them. So Google Slides does uh, force, will force your user to hit the play button. So make sure that if that's the case for you, that you're putting a little arrow that's prompting the, the user to click play. Okay, so that's how you uh, you integrate uh, Google Slides. That's good enough. Just make sure you put something down on the on your first slide that says "click the arrow uh, to view slideshow" or something something like that to prompt people to click. Okay, so let's say that you're using something like uh, Canva. So to find Canva, go to canva.com. You can, this is my own platform, but you're going to need to like create account just like usual. And then you want to click presentation. Once you're into a presentation, you can choose, you can look through the templates. You can see lots of the ones that I've used in the past. Um, and uh, you can choose a template or you can just work with a blank slide. Uh, and you, one of the great things about Canva is that in these elements, if you search for stickers, um, you get lots that, our GIFs that move like this, uh, that can just like create uh, some dynamism to your slideshow. Okay, so in um, in Canva, you can produce slides. Uh, there are 
some elements that are free and some that are pro if you've paid. Um, but what you can do in Canva is download in multiple formats, download the file in multiple formats. So you can download it as a video and it will uh, scroll through depending on those transitions that you create. You can also download it as a GIF, which is the file format that I have on our sample website that you see uh, uh, scrolling through. And these don't require the user of the of your Google site to um, click play at all. But anyway, so this is the slideshow that we're working with here. And uh, GIFs, by the way, uh, when you download it as a video or a GIF, they continue to play. So. The thing that you need to do, which is the same as we had to do on Google Slides, is set those transitions between slides and manage the timing between them. So you'd want to make sure in Canva that you're clicking on these transitions up here. It says fade and 8.5 seconds. So we can change it so that it's a pan. Let's do that. And you can change the timing so that it's actually much less than that. Maybe um, we may want, You may. it depends on the amount of information on your slide, but you're probably if you're going with a one sentence or one idea per slide, you're probably gonna want like three or four cent, uh, seconds, maybe, depends on how complicated. Um, and then what you'll do, you'll need to do that for each one because you have to set the time. You can apply the uh, the animation, but you, you can't apply the timing to all of them. And then you can download it. I'm going to download this as a GIF. And um, you can also choose which pages to download as a GIF. So I'm gonna download this one this one and this one, just to show you, uh, maybe we'll get our Steven Universe one and our Monty Python one. Okay, so done, download. So it's, what's really important here is that you don't miss the step of setting animations and the timing, uh, You know, so how long you want the slide to sit for before it automatically goes to the next slide. So this will download, and um, then I will show you how to uh, integrate it into Google Sites. In the meantime, let's work on um, VisMe. So uh, if you're using a program like VisMe, the same principles apply. You'll need to create an account and log in. Um, okay, so I already have um, a sample VisMe created for this purpose. It's ugly, but that's okay. It looks like an advertisement for TD Bank. Um, and what you need to do here, after you have created your um, create your VisMe, you need to make sure that you. Um, that you add animations in between as well. I forgot how to do that. Oh, I remember. Okay. Okay. So what you want to do is go to the corner of your little slide and then here, uh, transitions. And you want to put advance after and then a number of seconds and apply to each slide. Okay, and then you need to hit share. You need to publish it to the web. So here I have a, uh, I've already published it. It's like not search visible, but I have a URL that I could send you so you could see it. Um, but what we wanna get is an embed code. One that's responsive is good. And then we, we wanna copy this. So I just press control C and then go back to our Google site, which is here. And we want to insert something that has an embed code. So we're gonna use the embed code. We could have dropped our URL in there, but the embed code actually is better because it allows it to become smaller, bigger and smaller. This is definitely what we want. So we hit insert and drag it here. And then let's review changes and publish. and then view our website. And we can see the difference now between my Google slide, slideshow, which is pretty lame because I didn't put anything in there and that you have to press play for. It's totally fine, you just have to press play. And the VisMe, which, is, which started right away when I was on the website, which is good. 
It also gives these navigation options still so people can stop it and, um, you know, like they can go to a specific slide. So that's pretty cool. Um, but it's scrolling on its own. So there's two different options. Now our, um, our Canva downloaded. So let's try to put our Canva here. So what am I going to do with it? Um, I'm going to upload it. I'm going to go downloads, due diligence, open. So generally to insert things on Google, your Google site, they need to either be have an embed code or a link from another site like VisMe or Giphy or something, or they need to be sitting behind the scenes in your Google Drive file system. Okay, so you can see I have our due diligence GIF here. It's saved in GIF format. So what I'm gonna do here is um, drive, recent should give me the GIF that I just uploaded and it does, thank you very much. And then I'm gonna insert selected drag it to be the size I want, see if it ever loads. There. And we have that GIF sitting there too. Um, so out of all of these options, I prefer the uh, VisMe because it does, oh, sorry, let's look at it published. A few changes in publish, publish, then we can uh, view our published site. There. Okay. So out of all of these options, let me do this. Uh, the, the benefit of Canva is that uh, it does auto scroll and you can, you can set those timing um, specific to each slide. So you can make them, it's all individual. So one slide, if it's more complicated, you can, you can set it at eight seconds. If another slide's just a quick one sentence thing, you can set it at two seconds and it will go really fast. Um, so that's useful. Again, the Google slide, the Google slideshow, uh, you have to press play, which kind of isn't so great, but, uh, then it does auto scroll and, uh, and you can set those animation features in um, under, under the slides tab. And the VisMe offers the user the most, um, uh, offers the user the most flexibility because um, they can navigate it like this. Okay, so, uh, the VisMe does auto scroll from the beginning, but it doesn't look like it replays. Can you can swallow. Okay. It doesn't look like it replays um, once it hits the end, unless that's a setting that you can figure out how to set Who in VisMe. Who are you Vis talking me. to? I'm talking to myself right now. You see me right there? This is for all of my students. Okay. Even, even if there's a video. So this should help you uh, with uh, embedding uh, or uploading these kinds of slideshows to your um, Google site. You have to just remember that you need to set the animations so that they, so that the slides have transitions from one to the other, and that they so that they have a discrete number of uh, seconds set before they do that. Um, I recommend that you uh, try out Canva. Um, it has, in my opinion, it's like the most user friendly platform. Give me a little bit. That was it. Uh, it has, uh, it's pretty user friendly in terms of a platform and it has a lot of, it has a lot of options. Okay. Do you want to say happy reading week to my students? Yeah. Okay. Happy reading day. No, happy reading week. Happy reading week. Happy reading week. Happy reading week. Say, do you want to say, take a nap? Take a nap. Read your books. Read your books. And have some fun. And have some fun. <laughs> is that Steven Universe? That is Steven Universe, yeah. Monk can have it too. Yeah.